Let's see it. Come on. Lord. Just say this with me. Say, love of God. All over this place, say, love of God. Love of God. Fill me up. Fill me up. Say, presence of God. Presence of God. Fill me up. Fill me up. To overflowing. To overflow. Come on, make me contagious. Make me contagious. With your love. With your love. And your mercy. And your, mercy. And your goodness. Overflowing. In Jesus' name. Can anyone, any, any, anyone in this place give him a praise offering today? Come on. Come on, you can give a better praise. Yes, God. We worship you, God. Where I'm from, we've been scream. Andale. Gloria a Dios. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Come on, turn to the person next to you and say, you look like you've been baptized in joy. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, how many of you are glad that Brandon came to worship with us today? Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I tell you, this is a very good friend of mine. Been very kind to me. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Brandon, for honoring us and for being here with us today. Now, I'm going to give him just a couple minutes break here, and, uh, uh, and then he's going to come up here and preach, all right? Brother, why don't you come, please? Sergio, I need your help today, brother. All right. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on, brother. Come on. Okay, I need that uh, handheld. Where did that go? Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. All right. Come on up here close, man. Come on up here close. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You ready? Yes, sir. God is good. God is good. Amen. Praise the Lord. Say, God is good. Dios es bueno. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. May I'm, I may I speak yes, something please, first? Please. I would like to apologize if I, this is going to be my first time inter, uh, translating, <laughs> but God is with me. Amen, uh, amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. All amen. week. Thank you, Lord. Praise he's been reminding me that he's with me. Amen, amen. Come on. Let's stretch your hands out here. Stretch your hands out here. Father, in Jesus' name, I lift up Sergio in Jesus' name. This is a minister of the gospel, called and anointed to stand in the office in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. 
He's going to fulfill all the ministry that's on him. Every Amen. word. Amen. Every soul. Every Amen. step. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. You're going to fulfill Amen. the call that's on your life. Amen. 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 I'll be obedient. Oh, hey, yes, obedient. you will. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm going to be brief today. Voy a ser breve. Because I want to give Brandon as much time as I can. Porque le voy a dar a Brandon el más tiempo que posible. Please get your offering ready. Por favor, uh, tengan su oferta lista. We will receive the offering at the end of the service. Vamos a recibir la ofrenda al final del servicio. John chapter 3 verse 2. Juan capítulo 3 <laughs> versículo 2. <Dos. Dos>. Disculpe. <laughs> I speak street slanglish. <laughs> Yo hablo idioma de la calle. Yeah, very rude. My Spanish is very rude. Muy <laughs> Okay. Beloved, Amores. I pray above all things Yo oro, aparte de todo, that you may prosper que tú prosperas, and be in health y estés en salud, even as your soul prospers. Tanto como su alma prospera. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Gracias. Amen. Hey, we are a family of faith. Thank you, thank you. We are a family of faith. You know, Sergio, he feels, you know, might feel a little pressure. How do you think I feel every Sunday? You know, I got no Bible college. Huh? God told me and Cindy to start a church, and I was driving a propane truck, for crying out loud. Huh? Amen. I, I spaced out. I'm sorry. Yo estaba una troca de gas. The propano, yeah. Y propano, y me pongo muy nervioso. Así es como me pongo nervioso todos los fines de semanas. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Te agradecemos. Te agradecemos, Dios. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If you take one step in the right direction, si tú tomas un paso a la dirección correcta, God will give you credit. Dios te dará crédito. Yo prueba. Yo vivo prueba. A lot of times Christians want to rely on their record. Muchos quieren estar, um, <laughs> quieren estar, Trust in their record. Están, uh, nada más se están, <laughs> quieren estar pensando en ellos, que ellos lo pueden hacer. We trust in the living God. Nosotros reclamamos a Dios y por, que nos da aliento. And life. Y vida. And every good thing. Todos los días, todos los días, todas las mañanas. The Apostle John. El Apostle Juan. Number one prayer. El, el, la, la oración número una. For us. Para todos. Is prosperity. Y salud. Amen. Say number one. Número uno. Prosperity and health. Prosperidad y salud. People think, well, I thought. Getting saved is number one. Gente cree, cree que nada más la salvación es el número uno. But most of you are already saved. Pero ustedes ya están salvados. But we still sometimes struggle with finances. Pero todavía nosotros estamos teniendo problemas financieras. And health. Y salud. And family. Or am I the only one? O soy el único. <laughs> Beloved, Amores, I pray, yo oro, number one prayer, numero, eh, la oración número una, is prosperity, prosperidad, and prosperidad health, y salud, just like your como su alma está prosperando. When our emotions are damaged, cuando nuestras emociones están dañadas, it is very difficult, es muy difícil, to walk by faith, caminar por fe. Because your soul tu, su alma contains your will. Contiene su voluntad. That dice soul alma bless the Lord. Bendice tu a, a, a Dios. Say this to yourself. Say de, di esto a ti mismo. Soul, soul, soul bless alma, the Lord. Alma. Everybody stand up. 
Todos levántense, disculpen. Thank you, Sergio. You're doing great. You're doing great. Amen. 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 Gracias. Amen. 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 Say this with me. Digan esto conmigo. Soul. Alma. I will. Yo will. Bless the Lord. Voy a soul. Diciendo a Dios. I'm sorry. I'll slow down. Okay. Soul. Alma. I will. Yo haré. Bless the Lord. Estar orando a Dios. How about, let's say it like this. Say, everybody now. From the least to the greatest. I mean, everybody in here, whether you're serving, whether you're working, whether todos, you're a little, little child, everybody. Niños, adultos, todos, digan esto. Soul. Alma. You will. Tú vas. Bless the Lord. Obedecer a Dios, orar a Dios. You see, it is an act of your will. Tú sabes, es la actitud de tu voluntad. Acto de voluntad. Muchas gracias. Thank you, brother. To make yourself bless the Lord. Tú tienes que hacer tú, tú mismo, adorar a Dios. Especially when you don't feel like it. Especialmente cuando no, no quieras. Help me, Lord. So, Alma, you will, vas a, bless the Lord. Adorar a Dios. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make your soul bless the Lord, okay? Te voy a enseñar cómo tu, cómo la alma adorar a Dios. Even if you don't feel like it, okay? Si, aunque tú no quieras, tú no puedas, no quieras. I guarantee you, I te, mean, all but the hardest cases. Yo te garantizo que en todas las dificultades, problemas dificultosas. Will smile when you see me do this. Te sonrirás cuando vas a hacer esto, cuando me vas a ver hacer esto. All but the hardest cases. Todos hasta los más dificultosos right. problemas. Here's how casos. you do it. Esto, así es como lo vas a hacer. Ready? Listos? Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord. Gracias a Dios. Okay. A Dios. All right, I got you, I got you. All but the hardest cases, right? All but the hardest cases. Enjoy todos, that, right? Okay. Todos. I'll try it again. I'll show you again. All Les right? voy a enseñar you ready? De nuevo. You ready? ¿Listos? How do you say it in Spanish? Todos van a adorar a Dios. Or praise the Lord. Bendecir a Dios. Mm -hmm. Bendecir a Dios. Right mm -hmm. eh? Adorar, alabar a Dios. Help me out. Alabar a Dios. A alabar a Dios. a Dios. Ready? ¿Listos? Now you guys can try this time, okay? Ahora todos. And I'm going to go counterclockwise this time, all right? Y me voy a ir al lado del... Alabar a Dios! Alabar a Dios! Alabar a Dios! Alabar a Dios! See, all but the hardest cases are getting it now. Todos, hasta los huh? más dificultosos problemas. We got some tough cases casos. in here. Huh? ¿Quién tiene los casos más dificultosos? Huh? Give in to the Holy Ghost. Date al Espíritu Santo. Lay down your pride. Baja tu voluntad, tu, tu orgullo. If I can do this, si yo lo puedo hacer, you can do this. Tú también lo puedes hacer. Last chance. Última oportunidad. Ready? Listos? I'm going to go clockwise this time, all right? Vamos a ir Ready? al lado del reloj. Alabar a Dios! Alabar a Dios! Alabar a Dios! That's how you make your soul prosper. Así es como vas a hacer prosperar tu alma. Now it's working for some people. Some people Así just broke stuff. Ser. Something just broke Mucha gente ya you. lo está haciendo. Mucha gente ya lo está sintiendo. You want, pro, you want soul prosperity? ¿Tú quieres alma, prosperidad de alma? You have to make your soul bless the Lord when you don't feel like it. Amen. Tienes que hacer tu alma adorar a Dios aunque tú no lo sientas si quieras hacer. Tú lo tienes que hacer. Amen. Amen. Your financial prosperity tus financieras and prosperidad your, and your healing y tu salud Begins in your soul. Empieza con tu salud. It requires an act of your Alma. will. Es una acta de tu voluntad. Including damaged emotions. Incluyendo emociones dañadas. Amen. Just look straight amen. ahead and say, Amen, no Pastor. Bien, Somebody medio, needs to hear en el this. Frente, mirando hacia el frente, alguien tiene que decir que eso es lo que tiene que hacer. Amen, Pastor. Amen, Pastor. Somebody here probably has damaged emotions. 
Alguien probablemente aquí tiene algo, un problema emocional. Let's pray for that person, Vamos whoever that might be. Esa persona, quien sea esa persona. <laughs> Father, help him in the name of Jesus, God. I Padre, pray. ayúdale. Te oro. Heal damaged emotions today in the name of Jesus. Alivia today. esa uh, uh, emoción dañada. In Jesus' name. En Jesucristo. Jesus. En Jesucristo. En Jesucristo. Amen. Amen. So at the end of the meeting today, I will give you an opportunity to so, sow. Al último de esta junta, vamos a, a, cosecha, a sembrar. To sow seed in the kingdom of God. Sembrar una semilla en, la, en, en el reino de Dios. You are about to hear. Vas a, a, vas a escuchar. The, uh, the word of God. La palabra de Dios. In rare form. En una forma uh, rara. Maybe never, be never before he heard in this area. Probablemente nunca escuchado en esta área. Amen. Amen. All right, I want you to honor the man of God as he comes. Vamos a honrar a Dios. Praise the Lord. Hacia cuando venga. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Gracias. Thank you, brother. Excellent job. Excellent. Excellent. Good job, Sergio. Give Sergio a big warm hand. Amen. I think you can give him a better hand clap than that. Come on. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you again, Brother Brandon. All right. Now, stretch your hands out to Brandon. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, for the pure word, in Jesus' name, under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, we bless this man of God. In Jesus' name. Say this with me. Say, I have ears to hear. My heart wants to learn. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 I was going to say before you were seated. Yes, 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 yes. But right there, put your hand on the shoulder of the person next to you. Come on. Say, it's about to get awkward. Say, it's about to get awkward. It's about to get awkward. I want you to just say this. I want you to say this with everything that you are. Say, you are about to enter the best season of your life. I said, you're about to enter the best season of your life. The season you've been waiting for your whole life is about to start now in Jesus' name. I said, the best season of your life is about to start now in Jesus' name. La mejor temporada y etapa de tu vida está por empezar ahora en el nombre de Jesús the best season come on say the best season say I've had enough of the worst season come on someone hey holler at your boy up here come on say I've had the I've had enough of the worst season I've had enough anybody say I've had enough say I'm tired of it Hey, listen, I don't know about you, but I'm about ready to see some people come alive in this place. Jesus is the God of breakthrough. I tell you, God is the God of breakthrough. We, see, we hear that word all over the place, and we almost almost cliche now. It's almost something that we just listen to. We say breakthrough. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a word we use. It's just it's fashionable. It's, it's what we use, breakthrough, and we give high fives. Breakthrough? Breakthrough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. And they say, hey, what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> have no idea what breakthrough means. Breakthrough. I tell you what, right here, right now, John 5 and verse 1 starts it out. And before we get to John 5, my name is Brandon Kolb. I almost said pastor, but my name isn't pastor. My name is Brandon Kolb, Pastor Brandon. I've been pastoring pretty much uh, since I popped out of my, my, my mother. She carried me. She cooked me in there. It was incredible. I think that I was hooked up with IVs of revival. Father, we've started over 200 churches in Mexico, in Central South America. Uh, we just broke ground in Brazil. Come on, someone say, hey! Argentina, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Mexico, and Africa! Hey, listen, I'll tell you what. Hey, my grandmother, when my grandfather passed away, he came out of Germany. That's a big, long story. Someone say, long story. 
Someone say, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Hey, my grandfather came out of Germany. He was going to be a, a, a Hitler youth. And his aunt, his aunt saved him and sent him here to the United States of America. How many know that it's the time and season? It's the moment for the United States of America. Come on. It's the time. It's the season. It's the moment for you. You're about to enter your breakthrough season. It's our time. And so he came to the United States not knowing English. He had to eat dog food to survive. True story. And then he made something of himself. He bought houses and married my grandmother. And my grandmother, the houses that he built her, those homes, when my grandfather went to heaven, she sold everything. Come on, say, ay, ay, ay. ay. Come on, someone say, ay, ay, ay. ay. Look at someone. They need you to say that. Say, ay. ay. That's it. So guess what? My grandmother sold everything and went to Africa. Now she's been there for 14 years. She sold everything and sewed it into Africa. She said, this last time we saw her in Mexico, she said, when I die, you bury me in Africa. This is my home. These are my people. Because God calls you, and he gives you the grace to where he called you. So where are you called because that's where the grace and the anointing will be on your life. If you get too excited, nos vamos a hablar en español. Vamos a español y vamos a hablar puro avivamiento. If I get too excited, I'll just I'll break out in Spanish. How many know that God is moving all across the earth? If you didn't know that, look at someone and say, now you know. God is moving. He is doing what only he can do. And today, I would like to speak to you, and I would like to title this Transition. Come on, say, say it with me. Transition. Come on, say it like you mean it. Transition. Your fear. Come on, this is fear that has been happening to faith. Someone say, fear to faith. Come on, say, from here to there. Come on, say, fear to faith. This is transition from fear to faith. Don't shout me down. Fear to faith. There's a big moment coming. I felt this in my spirit this morning. I want to tell you this. There's a big moment coming for you, Pastor Brian Lee. There's a big moment coming for you. And it's right around the corner. It's to get you from here to there. You are a man of faith. You are a man of fire. You are a man of the word of God. But the people that are under your call, your anointing, your passion, your, your heart, they are going to come alive. And there will be a moment and there will be a season where you will look and there will be a great army. There will be a great army, an army that raises your hands, an army that, that honors and serves you. Not because you dictate or tell them to, but because they want to. Because God is raising up an army that will cause a, a, a shift in the atmosphere and his glory and his presence and what you haven't seen. He says, now you will see an acceleration is coming oh an acceleration is coming it is coming acceleration what couldn't happen in a year now a month a month a week and a week a day it's coming it's coming can you hear it it's coming it's coming can you hear the train come on it's coming it's coming and when it hits i tell you there is nothing that can stop it in jesus name Come on, is somebody excited in this place? Come on, I thought I was in price. Come on, I, hey, you can slap somebody if you need to. Go ahead. Listen, Pastor Brian, your wife, your family. I've pastored practically my whole life. My dad traveled as I pastored the mother church in Guadalajara, in Guadalajara, Mexico. Traveling with him, doing crusades. And then God did something crazy. He called me to Colorado. So I left my best friend, my father, in the house we already owned, in the vehicles we already owned, in the ministry that's thriving, 
to come to a place that in the natural, someone say in the natural, come on, shake your head, say in the natural, makes no sense whatsoever because you have it, built it, God's doing something incredible and then all of a sudden he says, He said, if I asked you where you wanted to live in the United States of America, where would you want to live? I told God, I said, look where I am. I'm on top of a mountain in Vail in Colorado. I said, here, right here, God, right here. Went back with my wife. We were just married. My wife sends her love. Uh, this morning, uh, all kinds of crazy happened. She wanted to be here, but she sends her love. Uh, we have children every 11 years. We're starting a new fashion. Every 11 years, we have children. We have a 16-year-old and a 5-year-old. Someone say, hello. Keep you alive, keep you awake, keep you vibrant, and keep you young. So we'll see how this goes. Every 11 years, we'll keep you updated. But God is good. And I'm telling you something. It doesn't make sense in the natural. So I went back after that trip. We used to, my dad used to be crazy. He used to take me every uh, 16th of February, which is my birthday, he used to take us skiing. Me and my brothers. I have two other brothers. We go skiing. And so this happened to me. An encounter with God on top of a mountain. What, what did I do with that encounter? I went home. I saw my wife. I told her. And we laughed. And we fell on the floor laughing. We thought, what is this? And then we forgot about it for 18 years. And God said, remember what I told you. Your season of breakthrough is right now. It doesn't look like it. Sometimes you're thinking, listen, I feel like I'm in a breakdown, not in a breakthrough. And sometimes you have to say this. You have to know this. God sometimes takes you through the breakthrough, but to get there, there was a breakdown. And that breakdown makes you who you are, and you can stand up and take your stand and say, I believe in the God of breakthrough. Because guess what? Your family will be saved in Jesus' name. All that stuff that God has, has said to you, it's going to happen in Jesus' name. All these things that have been, that have been thrust against you, all these, these things, everybody say, these things... Say, it's, it's, it's nothing but a thing. Come on, just say, it's nothing but a thing. Come on, say, it's nothing but a thing. You got to say it like you mean it. It's, it ain't nothing but a thing. You got to say it. Because what? God says, I'm moving and shifting and causing you to enter into a season of breakthrough like you've never seen before. And your mind will say, what in the world is going on? This makes no sense. But God is accelerating. And this is what he wants you to understand. Some people have been stuck. Someone say hashtag stuckism. Come on, just say it with me. Say stuckism. Come on, you have permission to get loud when I'm behind this microphone. Come on, you can get loud. You look at someone next to you and say, are you stuck? Come on, ask somebody. Ask them like you mean it. Are you stuck? Have you been stuck? Stuckism. Hey, how, how about how many? We have, we have churches on every street corner, and for some reason we have forgotten that it's love God and love people. Love God and love people. And in the middle, you're supposed to love yourself. And then you can love others. Come on. Hey, listen. This is why we are here. We love God because he first loved us. We love ourselves, but that's where we get up. We, we really get messed up. Because guess what? You go to school now, and there's more than 30 different genders you can choose from from a list. You can be male, female, and then you can be androgynous. I don't know. Is that like amphibious? You can be a gender bender. You can be a, I don't know if there's pixie in there. I don't know. There's all kinds of things. And you can be non-gender specific. Listen, God called you to be who you are. He called you for right now. He called you for this moment. He called you for this season. He called you to stand up and make a stand and be who you are and love like fire and be contagious and cause revival everywhere you go. That's what he wants you to do. 
You look at someone, they don't look like you. They don't talk like you. And they sure don't smell like you. And there you are in Boulder going, I'm in Boulder. I'm in Boulder. Boulder, Colorado will be a hub, a revival hub in Jesus' name. Boulder and Boulder County in Jesus' name. And all of the surrounding areas, Colorado will be known as a place of revival, of a move of God, of the presence of God. This is his heart. It's a shift. It's a moment. And we're coming into it. And when God saw you, he dreamed of revival. He dreamed of moving from here to there, getting you from fear to faith and understanding that you were born for much more and you are much more than a routine. You are much more than a ritual. You are the created value. Your created value on the earth is that you are in Christ. That is who you are, your identity thing but only in the context where Jesus is in the center. Because you might want to just pop somebody's bubble. Come on, I'll give you permission. Look at someone and say, you ain't that big of a deal. You just, you ain't that big of a deal. Hey, anybody here heard of this? I think I, I created, when I got here, I created this world, this word. Excuse me, I created this word and is T-Rexism. Everybody do this. T-Rexism. Somebody put a hashtag on it, please. Hashtag T-Rexism. Why? Because you're a big idea in your mind, but you have no reach. You have no reach. You're a big idea. What happened? We have a church on every street corner, and we have a virus called T-Rexism. And we have no idea that we're called to be revivalists. We're called to be love machine. Come on, say love machine. That's what you are. That's who you are, the created value. Your identity in Christ is to go out. And everyone who looks different than you, talks different than you. Because guess what? I'm going to break a paradigm today. Today it shifts in Jesus' name. Someone say shift in Jesus' name. Why? The atmosphere will change because there is no us and them. The church has been absolutely seduced to believe that there's us and then them. Us and then the world. Us and then the world. No, there is no us and them. It's only us. And you know why? Because guess what? You are called to love the unlovable. You are called to hug and to go out and do only what. And guess what? There's no more catch and then release. Catch and release. Who wants to? catch give it a kiss take a picture because if you don't take a picture it didn't happen instagrammable and then you release it are you kidding me you catch it then you clean it come on say disciples come on say discipleship come on he called you to make disciples. He called you to bring them in. He told you, hey, listen, you're supposed to love them. You're supposed to tackle them. I'm, I'm telling you, there's coming a day where a new person walks in that door or wherever God is going to break out the too small for you in this place. And then all of a sudden, someone's coming at the door and you are fighting to get to that person because you want to tackle them in love. And all of a sudden, the person is, that didn't get there fast enough, man, you feel bad because you didn't get to the person that was coming in the door that didn't look like you, didn't smell like you. Because guess what? God has called you to be more than a ritual, more than a routine. You wake up in the morning. If your coffee wasn't the, the exact way that you liked it, then your day's all messed up. If it didn't get that brand muffin, then I'm all messed up. If the person that... The coffee shop that I go to didn't remember my name. Are you kidding me? I go every day. I'm all messed up. I'm offended. I'm offended. If, if my husband looked at me in the morning and he's been married to me for 20-something years, but he looked at me and he acted like he didn't know me, and he looked at me and he's like, girl, you look crazy. Your hair, your breath. 
Who are you? And then you're offended. You're offended. Offended by every so easily offended. God is calling you to become unoffendable. You can be unoffendable in love. You can walk this thing out. Come on, you're going to clap in the back? Go ahead. If you're going to give it to him, give it to him. Come on, you're going to give it to him? Go ahead. You can be unoffendable. You can walk out this thing called life and become unoffendable. Then whatever comes your way, whatever somebody said, I tell you what, I don't know anybody who's dressing better here in this place than this, this amazing young lady here over here. She's looking in her purse right now. Look, 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 look in all kinds of beautiful. Are you kidding me? Man, I'll tell you what. Jesus is all about diversity. Listen, you know what? You know what harmony and unity looks like? It looks like diversity. Because if you think that we're a bunch. You got it messed up. You got it mixed up. Someone say, ay, yeah, yeah. Listen, it's not about, it has to be cookie cutter. Walk like me, talk like me. Hey, listen, Aerosmith, he had it wrong. Walk the It is the season from here to there. And since we're Christians, let me read you a verse. We got to read the Bible. Are you ready? Lift your right hand and buckle your seatbelt. I didn't hear it click. Listen, I was born to do this. I was born to be a revivalist. I was born to spark fire. I was born to break paradigms. I was born to come in and shift culture. I was born to be an atmosphere shifter. I was born to come in and to pop your bubble. I was born to say there is more to life than a routine. There is more than life. Guess what? He is here to set you on fire fire why because guess what people that are on fire they're contagious and if you're not on fire listen he's going to take you from depression to a place of joy he's going to take you from fear to faith he's going to take you from doubt to belief faith i'm gonna believe he's going to take you from addiction to freedom in jesus name he's going to take you from broken family and a label to listen this is prophetic i stopped for a reason i feel like this is a word broken families issues things that can't be fixed in the natural god says my super on top of the natural is taking care of it now and your family and what was impossible to you god says nothing is impossible for me and everything you have prayed and everything out to God and cried and said, my children will be saved. They will come home to be. God says, I'm accelerating. I'm accelerating. God says, it's accelerating now. And I'm doing it. What only I can do. And you will see it happen faster than you thought it would happen. In Jesus name. Come on, believe it. The one you love, Jesus. Not the one, it didn't say, Lazarus, uh, uh, the one who loves you. No, they, they made it really clear. No, the one you love. The one you love. He's, he's dying. He's dying. You got to get here quick. And then it says, and then he waited two more days. Isn't it like Jesus? To make it real. Come on, look at someone say, for reals. He makes it real. He waited two more days. And it says, it says he actually loved Lazarus. He loved Lazarus' sisters. Yeah, he did. He got there, not the third day, day. To everyone, too late. Someone say, too late. Duck. There was no way out. It was over. And he got there and he said, I've always believed. And he raised his hand so that everyone could hear what was going on. And I'm telling you the same thing here today. If you believe, you will see. Come on, say, if I will see it. If I I will see it. Why? Because God is the God of breakthrough. And when you thought it was too late, he said, 
you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm going to break out on the scene and make the impossible possible. But I, what I've seen is, and I'm, and I'm going to get to the word, I promise, is people are stuck. Would you just say that with me? Stuck. Just plain out stuck. Is that how you say it in English? Just stuck. They're so stuck, they don't even know they're stuck. That's how stuck they are. They're so stuck. And guess where they're stuck? Between their ears. I said, guess where they're stuck? Between their ears. Don't look at anybody right now. That'd be awkward. (laughs) Between their ears. Stuckism. Absolutely. So what is it? Some people have been stuck in their pain, stuck in their sickness, stuck in their problems, stuck in their lack, stuck in their loss, stuck in their minds, stuck in their depression, stuck in their religion, stuck in their condemnation, and stuck in their fear. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Stuck in transition. When God says, I want to get you from here to there. There's transition. What is it to be stuck in transition? Have you ever met someone who's stuck in transition? They're always they're always in something. It's like an ever a cycle. And guess what happens? It looks like this. And it looks like the people that go to the bar, that go to Starbucks, that, oh, excuse me, that go to these places that, that just they want to talk about over coffee, or over a drink, or a cocktail, or whatever it may be. Get real today. Come on. Listen, get real today. Listen, I'm asking you a question out there. Can I get real? Can I get real? Can I, can I bring it today? Come on, can I bring it today? Listen, there are people out there that are hurting. The only way they know how to cope is is behind a glass, behind some alcohol, behind some kind of a drug. The only way they know how to cope is to say, I don't know what gender I am. Um, Maybe that one. And they don't have no clue. And the spirit of the world and all of this us and them, there is no us and them. It is us. We are supposed to be salt that is sprinkled in the earth and light. To get from here to there, God wants you to break out and be a revivalist everywhere you are, everywhere you go. And if I'm screaming too loud, I'm once atmosphere shifter. And your sound in here is wonderful. Come on, it's good. It's good. Look at someone say, "This is good," but it's about to get gooder. Stuck in transition or stuck in translation. How about that? Oh, that that reminded me. Man, I've been with youth way too much. Catch me outside. How about that? Jesus is the only one that can get you unstuck. Come on, say that with me. You, You need to hear that. Jesus is the only one. Come on, say it. He's the only one that can get you unstuck. What I'm, what I'm telling you today, what I'm, what I'm preaching, because listen, I was born to preach. I was born to do this. You don't understand. I can't, I can't help it. There, there is nothing that can say this. This is who I am. I was born to do this. This is who I am. To love like fire. To do this. To spark this. Because why? Because this is who I am. You look at me, this is who I am. Because God really wants you to be that voice that he is using in your community he wants this to be a community he wants you to be intertwined in each other's stories know what's going on know what to pray for there's all kinds of crazy happening so many things that come against so many things and all these things that i just said stuck in fear stuck in doubt stuck in sickness stuck in all these things that god wants you free of but it's right here in your mind stuck on the treadmill stuck in the hamster wheel Have you ever been to the gym? And I go to the gym a lot. It's ridiculous. Come on, say ridiculous. I'm almost done, but hey, you need to slap somebody. You see somebody, come on, dozing off, just slap them. There's nobody dozing off. You were not born to be on a treadmill. Come on, if you love what I just said, say amen. Hey, anybody in this place just said, I had enough of cardio. Come on, I had enough of cardio. Any, anybody in this place love gluten? I love gluten. Listen, I'm going to have a shirt that says, I love gluten. 
And then the back is going to say, deal with it. I, mean, I don't know. It's a, or just like, Jesus is king. Deal with it. You know, just, hey, I love gluten. I love carbs. I love gluten. Why do you think I go to the gym? <laughs> hey, treadmill. It's ridiculous. Uh, you, you get on the treadmill, and it's almost like a, it's like a club of the treadmillers. And here we are. And here I am. I get on my treadmill, the one I love to get on, and here I am. It's got my groove. It's got everything. And, I, and I'm, here's my treadmill. Here's my treadmill, right? And I, it's at the, at the gym. And so here we go, right? And I get there when all, the, all of my boys get there too. So as we're all here. We're hanging out, and we're on the treadmill. It's like a party of treadmills. And here we are. We're just talking, and Jesus, and, and they ask me questions. And here we are, and it's great. It's wonderful, but we're still on a treadmill. And we're going nowhere. We are running and running and sweating and running and an hour, oh, half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour, and I run without these. So here we go. Here we go. And guess what? I tell you what, I have never gotten anywhere on the treadmill. I have never gone. I have never, ever gotten to anywhere to my destination on that treadmill. Have you ever watched a hamster that is in that hamster wheel and is getting nowhere? How many here were like me that kind of messed with the hamster and kind of gave him an extra push and, and blew, whoa, whoa, whoa. They, hey, guess what? You were not called to live in the hamster wheel. You were not called to live on the treadmill. You need to get off. Come on, say, say, step off. Come on, just, just step off. Come on, just, just step off. Come on, just step off. You have to get off the treadmill and you need to start living your life because he called you for much more than the treadmill. You're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck, and you know how to get off. You're stuck. God says, hey, I'm here. I sent Jesus to get you unstuck. I sent Jesus so that you could live free. And guess what, Isaiah? This is prophetic for this ministry. Isaiah says, Isaiah 43, 18. Your pastors know it well. They're, probably, they're screaming on the inside already. Isaiah 43 says, and you can say it by heart, but listen to this version. Listen to the message, what it says. I read out of the ESV, just so everybody knows who's watching on TV, but also the message. And guess what? The message says this, and I want to read it to you. It says, forget about what's happened. Just forget about it. Sounds like treadmill to me. Don't keep going over old history. Someone say, I, yay, yay. Come on, say, I, yay, yay. Come on, that's a big I, yay, yay right there. You need to tell somebody else who's next to you. Say, andale, 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 ipa, 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 ipa. Come on, just say, come on, let's go. Let's go. You got to go. We got to go in Jesus' name. Don't keep going over old history. Be alert. Be present. Oh, I could just stop right there. Be present. Be present. You see this thing called atmosphere? Someone say atmosphere. Say atmosphere. Atmos sphere. Atmos sphere. God has called you to be the atmos of your sphere. He wants you to be present. Hey, parents are so engaged in their zenith that they forget to be present. Pass them by, and their children grew up, and it was all about the zenith, the pinnacle. It was all about the house, the car, the money, the bank accounts, the cruise. It was all about Italy. And never about little John, little Jeremy, Susan, and Sheila. It was never about Bob. What about Bob? It was never about him. No, it was about the zenith. It was about me always projecting myself to the future. I always, I, I'm going to be better. I'm somewhere out there and I'm better. That's where, I, that's, where I, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Where are you at? And you talk to somebody and they say, oh, I, you know, just, just wait. Just wait. Give me two more years. Give me three more years. Come on. And you, you go th three years later. Come on. I'm almost there. A couple, couple more years. A couple more years and a couple more years. Listen to me. I'm going to burst your bubble today in Jesus' name. Be present. Because the only way, and the only, this is, this is really true for everyone in this room. The only way you can be effective and the, the, the only way that you can make an impact, a lasting impact, is to be present. 
what is what is what is what is little little Joe? What does he want? My my little Joe. He's five years old. What does he want? Does he want daddy to come in and tell him all about the future? Or does he want daddy just to come in and say, I'm right here. And I'm all in. And I'm engaged. And I want you to know that how valuable you are. And there he is with a smile. And every time I get home, every time, someone say every time. You got to say it like me. Every time. I'm not talking about sometimes. Every time I get home, I come in, garage, doors open. He, I see little Joe. Little Joe's running around the corner. He is going so fast. He's knocking into walls. He's coming around. He's daddy, daddy, daddy. He gets there. I think I'm going to get the biggest hug of my life. But no, he stops and he puts his hands out and goes, what'd you bring me? What'd you bring me? He's ready. He's expecting. What'd you bring me? It doesn't matter if it was a brownie. It doesn't matter if it's a, it's a cupcake. It doesn't matter if it's a little something that I created. Something, something, anything. But he, he's expecting. He knows that daddy's coming. And when daddy's home, daddy's always, always filled with something for him. Because he knows that daddy loves him. And I want to be in his world. How many here would just say, I would have loved it if my dad would have been in my world a little bit more. Come on. If, can you be brave? Can you raise your hand? I would have loved if my dad would have been in my world a little bit more. Listen, I'll be the first to raise my hand. Even though my dad was in my world, I would have liked it more. And he was the best dad I've ever met. He used to just go to the airport. Just to go to the airport. Buy the first ticket and take us wherever. And then wherever, we'd get people saved to have dinner and then come home. Come on, say, that's crazy. Well, that was my dad. He was crazy. Crazy for Jesus. Training us. Being with us. But let me tell you something. God is intentional. He's after you, and he's accelerating things, and he wants to burst your bubble. He wants to say you're created for much more, and you are loved, and you are valuable, and you are who you are because daddy loves you. Did you hear that statement? You are who you are because daddy loves you. Did you know that a woman receives a little child, a daughter, receives 99%, 98% right there of her identity through her father? Someone say, ay, ay, ay. Someone say, awkward silence. You were born to be great, but don't forget to be present. You were born to get there, here to there. But don't forget, be present in the here to there. Be who you were born to be. It says right there, be present. Let's finish this. Be alert. Be present. I'm about to do something brand new. Someone say brand new. Come on, I love that. Say it. brand new. I'm finishing. I promise I'm finishing. Say brand new. It's bursting out. Don't you see it? There it is. I'm making a road through the desert, rivers in the badlands, because why? I provide water in the desert, river through the sun-baked earth, drinking water for the people I chose, the people I made, specifically for myself, a people custom-made to praise me. Come on. Can you give him praise this morning? Come on. Can you give him praise? Can you give him praise? Can you? Jesus is, hey, listen, he wants you to break out in praise. My grandmother, she fell in a ditch. She's faced, uh, my grandmother in Africa, she's faced three or four times malaria. This last time she stared it in the face and said, just try to kill me. You can't kill me. That's my grandmother. What a, what a legacy. That's my grandmother. She's 80-something years old. She gets on a motorcycle. She gets in a little, a little canoe into Congo. That's my grandmother. She falls like a ditch, but a, like, no, a hole. A hole in the ground with metal spikes everywhere in that, in that hole. And she fell exactly, exactly, someone say exactly, exactly where she wouldn't get harmed. I mean, exactly fell. And so she couldn't get out, so she said she worshipped. She just broke out in worship for four hours. She just started singing every song she knew. She worshiped until someone got her out. She said it was the best worship service she's ever attended. And she just worshiped until 
Jesus showed up in the middle of her mess. He showed up in the middle of her mess. He showed up and God said, I'm going to show up in the middle of your mess and I'm going to show you who I am and you're going to move from here to there because he loves you that much. Come on. I don't know if you can't, if you can't get excited over that, I don't know what's going to get you excited. Guess what? Listen, this should be the most exciting thing you do all day. It should be the most exciting thing you do all week. Guess what? You're with your family. That's, that's pretty important. That's amazing. That's true. But when you come together and you bring your family, and this is culture, this is what you do, and you live this thing in community, you should know that this should spark something. You should accelerate. You should move now in Jesus' name. I just sounded like Stephen Furtick. I don't know. Move now. Move now in Jesus' name. God is good. You just don't know how good he is. And that's the reason you have the face you have on right now. Because you don't know how good he is. So can I say one more thing and then we close this thing? Break the cycle. Would you just tell somebody next to you? Come on, I give you permission to talk like me. Go ahead, just talk like me. Say, break the cycle. Tell somebody next to you, say, just break the cycle. Break it. Right now, in G- whatever it is, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be anything. This cycle, of this cycle of saying, speaking words you had no idea you were about somebody, it might be your children even, and all of a sudden you catch yourself and say, O M G. Why? Hey, listen, we're so bad at communicating now that we have emojis for everything. Like, like calling me seriously dad no we text we don't call what are you doing you're so you are just come on is anybody getting this come on you you getting this no no you're so old school I, I was waiting for the effect here are you ready you're so old school. Are you kidding me? You still call people? Really? Seriously? This isn't my son, of course, obviously. But this, this, this is the, the way the world works. See, my, my son wants me to call him. But he lets me know when I call other people and it just goes to voicemail, he's like, Dad, this is why. This is the world we live in. People are so bad at communicating now that we need an emoji for everything. A a thumbs up, a kiss, a heart, a a face blowing a heart, a face with a a, a look like a zombie, a face that's like surprised, a face that's sad, a crying thing. Emoji, emoji, for everything is emoji. There's an emoji. There's even, I was going to go there, but it's okay. There's an emoji for everything, isn't there? There's an emoji for everything. There's there's even an emoji for mess, for a mess. You know, like a dog leaves a mess. Yeah, there's a mess. And guess what? You are not a mess. You are a child of the living God. You are a child of the living God. You were not born to live in an emoji. You are a walking, living, breathing love machine. Come on, break out and just keep calling people. Break out and just keep calling people. Break out and still, come on, communicate. Break out and talk to people. Break out and go out of your way at Costco. Someone will say, hashtag Costco. Costco needs to get saved, yo. Needs to get saved. Come on, you need to break out and think that you need to do. Guess what? Some people, they don't like the way this is communicated. But guess what? This is who I am. Because God wants you to be a part of his story. And how are you going to do that, being an emoji? Hey, listen, any old timers in this place that can relate to what I'm saying can say, hey, can say, hey, listen, what, what are you talking about? Emoji, texting, this, trying to, and, and, and the pressure on the old schoolers, right, to learn Facebook, to learn emoji, to learn all this. What are you talking about? You be you. What are you talking about? This pressure, this society thing, what in the world is going on? Are you, are you crazy? Tell somebody next to you, say, are you crazy? You need to tell them, are you crazy? 
Because guess what? God says, I'm doing what only I can do. I'm moving you from here to there. And in the process, be present. Be who you are. You be you. Stop being some imitation of who you are supposed to be. You are supposed to be brand new. It's a new thing. It's a new season. God is always moving. Movement is part of heaven. Ay, 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 man, you can preach in this place. Whew, man, you could just, this is, this is it. Man, you can preach in Spanish, English, French, German, doesn't matter. This is it. Why? Because your pastors love Jesus. They're after him. How many, how many love Pastor Brian Lee who just goes, hey, get over here. Come on, over here right now. We're going to do this right here, right now. Come on, because why? He has a passion. He has a burning. He, has a, he doesn't do that to offend you. And if you got offended, hey, let me pop your bubble. You're not unoffendable yet. Because you can be unoffendable. Ooh, that was good. Let me say that. that I kind of hit a nerve there. I can feel it. It's flowing through the place here. Come on. It's time to be unoffendable. You can't offend me. I'm already dead anyway. I am dead to sin and alive to Christ. You can't offend me. So what did you do? You didn't bring me a coffee, bring me a water. You looked at me funny. You told me to get over here. You made me pray when I didn't want to pray. OMG. Hey, you didn't want. And what's going on? Hey, and, and you and we and we and I and all. And I'm still unoffendable. And you can't offend me. You can't offend me. You can't offend me. So we prophesy that even a, this Spanish-speaking incredible army of God, of Hispanics, are going to wake up to the reality of who they are and not be in fear and join in the family and move. And it's going to be an explosion of revival because when we come together, it's a family. It's not us and them. It's a family. So if you've had a misconception, so hey, listen, I've been on a plane with a Muslim, with a Hindu, with a, what was, oh, Harry Krishna, with a, and then a whatever. I think we vibrate at the same frequency, he said. Then he went, hmm. I said, hey, I said, I, said, I said, tell me about you. And then he goes, tell me about you. And when I told him about me, guess what? The plane broke out in revival. This guy who said we vibrate at the, at the same frequency, guess what? He got revived. God got him. God got a hold of him. But guess what? It's not time to go fishing and then catch it's time to reel them in. It's time to clean. Time to disciple. Time to form community. Time to get people in and say, guess what? You ain't leaving until I love you. You can't come into this house unless you eat. Come on, eat, 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 eat. You got to eat. Come on, everybody in this place, you got to eat. Why? Because eating is good. That's why. <laughs> it's good. Listen, break the cycle. We're done. Come on, look at someone and say, break the cycle. You know, it says something really important. In Ezekiel 12, it says, And the word of the Lord came to me in Ezekiel 12, 21. And the word of the Lord came to me, son of man. What is this song? What is this proverb that you have about the land saying, the days grow long and every vision comes to nothing. Tell them, this is what I say, the living God. I will put an end to this song, to this proverb, and they shall no more use it as a proverb about the land. But say to them, the days are near and the fulfillment of every vision, for there shall be no more any false vision or flattery within the house, for I am the living God. I will speak the word that I will speak. Uh, don't you love the way he words things? I will speak the word that I speak. He's kind of emphasizing something. I will speak the word that I will speak. And it will be performed. It will no longer be delayed. But in your days, in your days, I will speak the word and perform it, declares the Lord. Listen to this. Therefore, drop down to verse 28. Therefore, say to them, thus says the Lord God, 
None of my words will be delayed any longer. Come on, somebody's got to grab a hold of that. None of my words will be delayed any longer. Come on, you got to grab that. You got to, come on, you got to grab that right here, right now. You got to take that right now. None of my words will be delayed any longer, but the word that I speak will be performed, declares the living God. Come on, break the cycle of lying and live in truth break the cycle of fear and live in love break the cycle of doubt and live in hope break the cycle of sadness and live in joy break the cycle break the cycle of hoarding and live in generosity the cycle come on we're going to break the cycle right here right now in your life you were not called to be an emoji come on say that i wasn't called i wasn't born I wasn't created to be an emoji. Someone say, no, thank you. Just say it, no, thank you. Say it like you mean it. Come on, no, thank you. I, I wasn't called to be an emoji. I wasn't called to be this, this, this thing they can't communicate. I, I wasn't called to be an emoji. I was called to be a living, breathing expression of Jesus on the earth. That's who I am. That's who I am. That's who I am. Could you put your, uh, let's see, put your hand on your heart before we do anything else. Just put your hand on your heart. This is such a word for in season for this moment. Come on. It's time to go and walk this thing out. The transition from fear to faith. From here to there. Understanding that what God has told your pastors and has told you, it will come to pass. It will. It's coming. Acceleration time. Breakthrough time. Sometimes you go through the breakthrough to get to this place that you've imagined. It's just, just crazy amazing. And it is. But God says for every breakthrough, sometimes there's a breakdown. And then comes another breakthrough. Here comes another breakthrough. So if you're, if you're at that stage of a breakdown, get ready. Because your breakthrough is right here. It's right now in Jesus' name. So if you felt like you're in a breakdown, get ready. Someone say, get ready. Come on, tell yourself, get ready. If you felt like you're in a breakdown, God says, get ready. You're coming from here to there. You're going from, you're coming from fear to faith. You're coming from doubt. Raise your hands and get in the place where you know that you know when you're here. God. God has not called me to be an emoji, to just be this thing that I can't communicate. God has called me his son, his daughter, my life in this thing called love. in this this is just the conversation this is the context to put into context this word, the operative word is break. The cycle. Break the cycle. Some of you have lived a cycle, a vicious cycle, most of your life. Or, or yeah, for most of your life, a vicious cycle. It could go good, 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 and then everything crumbles on the other side. And then good, build yourself up again, good, good, and then everything crumbles again. God says, I'm breaking the cycle in Jesus' name. I am breaking the cycle in Jesus' name. No more unhealthy cycles. No more in Jesus' name. Today is the day. This is the moment that I restore me. A cycle that you were born to live in. A cycle that brings breakthrough and brings freedom in Jesus' name. So if there's some things you have to drop today, you want to just drop it? You want to drop fear? Come on, if you're with me, you want to just drop fear. You want to drop it. You want to get from here to there. You want to drop doubt, drop sickness, drop addiction. You want to just drop it in this place. Come on, if you're with me, just say, I drop it in Jesus' name. Unbelief, I drop it in Jesus' name. Religious spirit, I drop it in Jesus' name. Condemnation, I drop it in Jesus' name. You were born to live by faith. That's why you were born. To live by faith. Walk by faith, not by sight. To know who you are. To know the voice. To follow the voice. Jesus, he's the only one. Say it with me. Always. Only. Jesus. 
Say it one more time. Always, only Jesus. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. He is the only one that will take you to the Father. See, he didn't come to get you to heaven. He came to get you back to the Father. Heaven is just the benefit of the Father. So today, the Father's voice, the Father's identity poured out over this place. The Father's identity poured out over this place. It's the Father that brings the breakthrough. The Father comes in. The mother is such an important role. And the father as well. And the father bringing the brave. I declare the father's voice over this house. I declare the father's voice over your life and marriage and children. I declare the father's voice over your finances. You were born to be amazing. You were born to be a success. You were born to hit the target. Don't forget why you were born. So today he breaks the cycle. Would you grab the hand of the person next to you? Come on, let's make this thing really real. Father, in Jesus' name, today we stand here and we say, I have had enough. I'm tired of it. I am done with heavy and hard. I'm moving into light and easy. In Jesus' name, I am done with all of this fear. I'm moving to faith. I'm dumb. I am so dumb done with all the sickness and shame and all of these things that have attacked my family and all of this depression i say today is the day today is the day i am moving i am moving i am moving in jesus name breaking the cycle in jesus name come on squeeze the hand of the person next to you say in jesus name Come on, just say, Jesus' name. I am moving now. Come on, say, in Jesus' name. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving in Jesus' name. We're moving. We're moving. I'm changing addresses in Jesus' name. Now, you, you can't find me in that old address anymore. You can't find me there anymore. I'm moving. I am moving. I'm in a new place, in a new time, in a new season. I'm moving. You can't find me here anymore. You can't find me there anymore. I'm not at that address anymore. Scream it out. Come on, scream it out. I'm not at that address anymore. Come on, scream it out. I am not at that address anymore. I am moving in Jesus' name. I'm moving. I'm moving. No more addiction. Someone say, I'm moving. No more fear. Someone say, I'm moving. No more doubt. Someone say, I'm moving. Come on, no more sickness. Say it again. I'm moving. I'm moving in Jesus' name. Come on. Put, put your, I'm going I'm to ask you to be really brave now. Be really brave. I want you to put your hand on somebody's head. Don't mess up their hair, but come on. Put your, put your hand softly somewhere. Come on, just put your hand there. Come on. You maybe, maybe you've never done this before. Maybe, that, maybe that's a good thing. Get around. If you're, if you're all by yourself, get around somewhere and somebody can grab your head. Come on. Come on. Just put your hand on somebody's head and just say, Jesus, help Help us to make the shift, to make the change, to move, to change address in Jesus' name. I pray right here, right now, breakthrough in Jesus' name over this mind, over this person that you love right here, right now. Breakthrough. Breakthrough breakthrough three more times breakthrough 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 speak over there right now say i can't find you at the old address come on speak that over someone right now i can't find you i can't find you at the old address you ain't there anymore you aren't there anymore i can't find you at the old address called sickness you aren't there anymore I can't find you at the old address of death. You aren't there anymore. You are alive. You are alive. You are vibrant. You are not just surviving. You are thriving in Jesus' name. Come on, just say it over somebody. Be brave. Say, I can't find you anymore in the place of fear. 
You look like a person that's so filled with faith. It looks like you could walk out of this place and cause revival everywhere you go. Jesus' name. So a shifting is coming. This ministry, this house, can't find me there anymore. Moving. Yeah, even literally stuff happening. Whew. Jesus. It's coming. It's coming. Say it with me. It's coming. Come on, you got to say it like you mean it. It's coming. I, I love you all so much, I don't want to leave. I don't want to go anywhere. I'm, listen, we're, we're not, we're not, we're not going to live in stuck. We're not going to live in debt. Come on. If, listen, this is, the, this is the year the debt is canceled in Jesus' name. Come on, if you receive that, receive it. The debt is canceled in Jesus' name. Everything the enemy said he would have you tied to, tied to debt, tied to death, tied to sickness, tied. Oh, he, he has you tied up, tied up like a catfish, like a catfish, tied up. you tied up. He says, you're, I'm breaking you loose. Breakthrough in Jesus' name. Breakthrough in Jesus' name. Breakthrough in Jesus' name. Come on, just pray in tongues with me for a second. Come on. Kurabasa. Right now. Hiramando. Right now in Jesus' name. Come on. Right now in Jesus' name. Right now in Jesus' name. Right now in Jesus' name. Freedom. 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 I call it into existence now. Families that have been broken will now be united. Families that have been hurting each other will now know how to love each other. Families that have been so divided will now be united, will now be together. Come on, someone say togetherness. Togetherness. That's why I was born. I was born to feed people. Come on. You like pasta? Come on. Come on in. You like, you like good food? Come on in. You like tacos? Come on, come on in. You like it all? Come on in. Come on, I was born to love you in your language. So Jesus, I thank you for this ministry. I thank you for Pastor Brian Lee. I thank you for this whole family. I thank you for this whole ministry. I thank you, God, from here to there in Jesus' name. Break out. Break out. In Jesus' name. If you believe that, you need to say a big amen in this place. Come on, big amen in this place. Amen. There's someone right beside you that needs a hug. They, they've been needing that hug this whole time I've been talking because they were so nervous. Come on, they need a hug. Would you give that person that's next to you a, a, the biggest hug they've had all day? Come on. Come on, go ahead. Give them a hug. Come on, break through. Break through even in your hugs. Come on, don't, don't be... Don't be What's that? Stingy. Don't be stingy with your hugs. Don't be stingy with your hugs. Come on, fathers. Fathers in the place, I declare you breakthrough over your hugs. Your hug level is going to another level. Your, your hug level is going to another level in Jesus' name. Come on. In Jesus' name. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just... Um, Let's just pray for some folks. Huh? Let's pray for some folks. Yeah, we, uh, we're going to receive the offering right at noon, and then we're going to stack up the chairs, and then we're going to go have lunch. You're staying for lunch, right? We're locking the doors, right? You're, see, I'm staying for lunch. Staying for lunch. See, I believe in lunch. I believe in lunch. Cindy has uh, made some of her specialties. Ay, ay, ay. And let me tell you a little something. What's going on? Amen. Amen. And the rest of you have brought some of your specialties as well, so. We Amen. Really, it's it's so important to, to have to have a, a a holy meal together, isn't it? Amen. They used to have that in the New Testament. They called it the agape, right? Yeah. That's why we call this agape Sunday. Yeah. So we'll receive the offering here in a moment. So if my ushers would just stand down for just a moment, when you spoke that, brother Brandon, and and listen, this is a there's a several prophetic words that have come come into this house today through this through this ministry. Um, we, if we'll count this, are you listening to me? This yes. is not some preliminary now. <clears throat> if we'll count the prophetic word, if we'll honor the prophetic word as we would the written word, you will receive the same results. Now he spoke acceleration in the mending of broken families in this place today. 
Now, I know that is virtually universal. All right. I about had a belly full of it. How about you? Yes. Amen. Yes. Haven't you had enough? Yes. Haven't you had enough of, of, of being a victim of a broken family devil? Yes. That's all. It's nothing but the devil. Yes. All right. So let's cast him out. The Bible says that believers, the first sign, right, is what do they do? Cast out devils. So, all right, you say this, do this with me. Point way down there to the pits, right, where the devil is eventually going soon and very soon. Say, in Jesus' name, you spirit of division, come out of my family. Come out of my family. Come out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Now, if you mean business, brother, you're going to get results. You pussy foot. You're going to be carrying that, all right? Jesus. It's on me up here because of you, man. What did I just say? I said, if you mess around with evil spirits, you're going to mess around with evil spirits. You cast, you cast them out. They don't want to mess with you no more now. They have no defense against the name of Jesus. All right. So I got this scripture here when you were saying that. Isaiah 49, 25. Anybody know it? You got it marked in your Bible? If you got kids, you might want to mark this. Yep. But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty should be. Oof. Come on. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. Yes. What's got your kids? What's got your family? Unforgiveness, grudges, drugs. Homosexuality, witchcraft, drug addiction, all this. Even, I don't care how big the devil is. I don't care how big Goliath is. Let's take five smooth stones and go after him today. What do you say? Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. Woo-wee. Even religious devils. It's got your family separated. Come out! Come out, devil, in the name of Jesus. Come out. And the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. You believe it? Yes. For I will, woo wee, I will contend with him that contends with you. The, the Father God, the, the, I mean, the Lord of heaven, Heaven's army says, You want to pick a fight with my kid? Really? I don't know about where you grew up, but I went to 22 schools and you pick on my brother and sister. I mean, I, I don't have to be bad. I just get good and mad. I find me something to go upside somebody's head. Amen. That's the kind of church you're in now up in here. You mess with my brother and my sister, it, it's gonna be not going to be a good day for you. And that's what the father says. You mess with my kids. Uh-uh. Not going to tolerate it no more. He says, I will contend with those that contend with you. And what's he say? What's it say? I will. Do you believe the word of God? I will save their children. I don't care if they're 70. Amen. Your whole family is going to be united. Mama. Your whole family is going to be united. Your whole family. All of them together. All of them together. All of them together. All of them together. Come on now. Take a hold of it. Jay Lynn. Justice, take a hold of it. Your whole family. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Not one lost. Not one lost. Not one. Are you going to tolerate it? Break the cycle. All right. So who wants prayer for this? Who wants to believe this? Come on up here. We're going to pray for you. Brother Brandon and I are going to lay hands on you. Anoint you with oil. Amen. Come on up here. Praise the Lord. Line up on that gray tape, if you would, please. We're going to pray, pray for you. We're going to believe God. From the moment that we lay hands on you, it's going to change. It has to change. It's going to change. It's going to change. It has to change. It has changed in Jesus' name. You believe the moment we lay hands on you, it's going to be different, way different. Yes. Amen. And then you just act different. Yes. Now, I know we advertise this as Spanish English Sunday, but we're just going to, we're following the Holy Ghost today. This is not programmed. Amen. So I need a few of my men, some big, strong men to line up here behind, make sure nobody gets hurt and everything like that. All right. You know who you are. You know who you are. Come on. I need help. 
All right, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Break your power, devil. You take your hands off families. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I said. You know, sometimes you got to get mad, man. You just got to get mad. You know, something's not going to change till you get mad and say, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Break the cycle. I will not tolerate this in my household anymore. Not going to tolerate it. Not one will be lost. Say, everybody look at me and say, not one shall be lost. Not one of them. Not one of them. Not one of them. Not one of my family is going to be lost in the name of Jesus. 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 Now, if you've got a grudge, if you've got a grudge against somebody in your family, you best better lay it down. And I mean right now, today, this is it. Done. Say amen. Amen. Done. Say done. You kidding me? you got to honor the Lord now. You can't be bearing grudges and receive answers now. That don't work. You're going to short circuit the whole thing now, and you're going to be right back in that dumb cycle now. No more. All right, so who wants to lay down a grudge? Anybody? Anybody? I, amen. Come on. We get it. It's easy to get hurt. It's easy to get your feelings hurt. Amen. This is an ugly, rotten world. So let's lay down the grudges, everybody in the house. In the name of Jesus, I forgive. Say, I forgive. I forgive. Oh, my God, I forgive. Cry out for forgiveness. I forgive. I forgive. I forgive, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help my family. Cry out to him. Say, God, I forgive. In the name of Jesus, help my family, Lord. Help us, Lord. From this moment, God, let it be a new day. A new day. New day in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Do you believe it with me? With all your heart? With all your heart? All right, Brandon. All right, brother. However you feel. Say this with me. Thank you, Lord. I choose this day to live a life. A lifestyle of forgiveness. Dad, I forgive you. Dad, I forgive you for not protecting me, for not being there, for not saving me, for not bursting the doors down and rescuing me. I forgive you for not being present. Mama, I forgive you. I forgive in the name for your of words, for what you said, for how you treated me. I forgive you. Come on, just say it right here, right now. Say, I choose to forgive. Come on, now we, we made it a little bit more personal. Yes, Lord. We're making it a little bit more personal. We're going to pray for you, but this is personal. Come on. I want you to close your eyes and think right now. This is part of breaking the cycle. That person might have abused you, hurt you. It might have been absolutely devastating. It's easy to say, yeah, I forgive. I forgive. No, we're making this personal. We're going deep now in Jesus' name. They might have, they might have hurt you with racism and hatred. They might have said some crazy stuff about you. Wanted to kill you while you were down. Wanted to hurt you kill you destroy you sounds like the devil he came to kill still and destroy we declare now in jesus name we're making it personal yes, Lord. i choose today it's my choice come on if you believe this you want to make that choice you've been hurt i want you to put your hand on your heart right now as a as a prophetic act come on you've been hurt we all been hurt we're all we've all been there if this is you this is real this is right now you can't move forward when you're stuck in unforgiveness. You can't. Words that have damaged you, cut deeper than a knife. Words that have made you how you are, and you think that it's normal. No, it's not normal. You can have freedom today in Jesus' name. You can have freedom today in Jesus' name. It isn't normal. All the words and the, and the manipulation and the controlling and the condemnation, it's over today in Jesus' name. I said it's over today in Jesus' name. I said it's over today in Jesus' name. I said it's over today in Jesus' name. It's never too late. You might be on your way out. You might be 99 years old. It's never too late. You let it go. Drop it and give them a gift they don't deserve because they don't deserve it. Just give them a gift they don't deserve, which is forgiveness. I choose to forgive. Come on, say, if you believe it, say, I choose, I choose. today to forgive now I want you to think about that for a second who are you forgiving look at it come on who are you forgiving 
You know who you're forgiving. Come on, look at it. Look at it. Face it. Own it. And forgive them. And drop it today in Jesus' name. Drop it. Drop it now in Jesus' name. Come on. In Jesus' name. Grab the hand of the person next to you real quick. Come on. Grab the hand of the person next to you. Father, in Jesus' name, before we start laying hands, we say today it is sealed. It is done. It is over. Father, every debt is everything that we thought people owed us. We drop it in Jesus' name. They can't repay me. They cannot make it right. Today I give them a, a free gift. I give them a gift they don't deserve. And I forgive my father. I forgive my mother. I forgive my brothers. I forgive my uncles and my aunts. All these people that hurt me, I let it go. All the words that were spoken over me. Today is the day. Today is the day. Squeeze the hand of the person next to you. Come on. Today is the day. Make it real. Today is the day. Everybody who tried to kill me. Come on. You, hey, listen. You don't know how real this is. You think that it's easier in the ministry? You think it's easier being a pastor's kid? Missionary's kid? Huh? All eyes on you? You think it's easier? No, 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 no. You can, if I can do this, you can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. You can live free. You can live free. You, no one owes you anything from this day on. You hear me? No one owes you anything. No, my, it's because they owe me. My dad owes me. My mom owes me. Everybody owes me. I had a horrible life. I had a horrible... Listen, drop it and change your language. Amen. Drop it and change the way you're talking today in Jesus' name. You are still breathing. Take a stand. Stand up and be who you were born to be. Right now, squeeze the hand of the person next to you. Say, right now, in Jesus' name. Fill me now, Holy Spirit. Right now. Fill me in Jesus' name. Now, come on. Stand right here now. Stand and, and stand for your family now. Stand for your family now. Come on. You're hand in hand with somebody. Come on. We are family. Stand for your family. Stand for your family now. Say, they're coming back. Say, they're coming back. They're coming back coming in back. Jesus' name. They are coming. The I can Jesus. hear them. Yes, the prodigals Lord, are yes, coming. Lord. The Here prodigals are coming. They they're come. coming home in Jesus' come. name. Thank and God. we will love them, yes, tackle Lord. them, love them back to life again. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We declare every family member yes, like we already declared. Jesus. We're doing it again. Make it real, God, today. Yes, Lord. Families. Worship you, Lord. I worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In health. United. And the pieces all put back together again. That puzzle that no one could fix. You have the pieces, Jesus. Put it together. Show us what you're seeing. And make it real. The words that cut so hard. We forgive words. We forgive it today. In Jesus' name. Someone say amen. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name. Why don't you all take a big step forward. Everybody take one big step forward, okay? Good. Jesus. All right. All right. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just thank you right now. Thank you, Lord. We're just going to lay hands on you in faith, amen? Praise the Lord. Yes, in thank Jesus' name. Come on, everybody, everybody in the place. Come on. Just keep, keep your expectancy level up right now. Come on. Pray. Pray. If you're out and sitting, just pray. Come on. Eyes on Jesus now. Eyes on Jesus. Jesus. I thank you for breakthrough Jesus, right now. Your reunited. whole family completely right now. Whole, Come on. Everybody coming home. Everybody coming home. In Jesus' home. mighty name. Now, in now, the name now. Of Jesus, your Jesus eyes, name. See it, your Jesus, name. Must see Jesus it. name. Let it be today in <coughs> Jesus' name. The in power Jesus name, Jesus of heaven right now. In Jesus name. Breaking off every chain reunited, over your cycle. son. In, in Jesus' name. Jesus. name. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, there it is. There it is. More, 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 more. Mas, 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 mas. More, more, more. In Jesus' name. Oh, breakthrough all over you. Breakthrough all over you. In Jesus' name. You are not tied up. You are not chained up. You are free. In Jesus' name. Free, free, free. And in nombre del Padre. Jesucristo. Hoy yo declaro en el nombre de Jesús, el nombre que sobre todo nombre, libertad. En el nombre de Jesús, Dios, 
hazlo tú, ahora en el nombre de Jesús, Padre te doy gracias ahora por tu hijo, él te ama yo vi fuego, cada vez que te veo eres un hombre con fuego y declaro que tú vas a desatar muchas cosas sobre familias, tú serás el indicado, tú y tra oh, traerás avivamiento Puf, en el nombre de Jesús fuego fire, thank you Father for forgiveness thank you for newness Thank you for your, oh Jesus, no longer a slave. Oh, no, 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 no. She is alive, fully alive. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, more, more, more. Deep breaths of freedom. Deep breaths of this name. Jesus' name. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Now, in birthing, birthing, you will birth. It won't be aborted. It will be breakthrough. Healing power of God in Jesus name you're standing here you're brave and I honor you today thank you for being right here brave 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 I know it hasn't been easy but you are here in Jesus name thank you for your amazing love right now he's standing for breakthrough he's standing here for breakthrough <laughs> Yes, you are. Give it to him. For him and his whole family. In Jesus' name. Breakthrough now. In Jesus' name. Standing here. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From fear to faith. Right here, right now. In Jesus' name. We declare it. Breakthrough. In Jesus. Yep, there it is. I feel it. <laughs> It's so breakthrough breakthrough in every area right now come on just go <sighs> jesus jesus right here right now lord, in yes, jesus lord, yes, breakthrough yes, lord, in yes, jesus lord. name Doof, i feel so much breakthrough on you yes, the devil wanted you counted out he wanted you counted out yes, lord, he wanted yes, you out of here he didn't want you here god says you are a soldier with mighty weapons Your time isn't over. It's you just you're just starting. It's a new season, a new time. Yep, you're, it's coming. You are a revivalist, and you can't shake it. It it's over. The devil. It's it's over. The the time has come for you to be alive, more alive than you've ever been. You are a warrior. You're a warrior. You're a warrior. You don't give up easy. You're still here, and you're gonna go get them. You're going to go out there. You're going to get them. You're going to bring them in. You see them. Your heart burns with compassion. That's who you are. You're a Todd White oh, warrior. Come on, in Jesus' name. That's, but you're not that. You're, you're you. <laughs> Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, in amen, Jesus' amen, name. Amen. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Everything you've put in me, Father, that hunger, that desire, that passion, let it be transferred now. Oh, in Jesus' name. Come on. Amen. Amen. That. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. More. More. Wow. Thank you, Father, for this family. Jesus, break through all over this family. You're so precious. Yes, you are. You're so precious. You're so precious. You're so precious. Yes, you are. You are a princess before your daddy God. He loves you. You are so precious. Yes, you are. It's okay. Yes. Jesus' name. Breakthrough. Breakthrough family. Breakthrough family in Jesus' name. You have been standing, mama. You both right here. Come on. You just hold. You have been standing. You have been standing. You've been standing in faith. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Forgiveness, freedom, healing, power. Come on. Brave. In Jesus' name. Come on, close your eyes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. I declare today is the day. Mark it on the calendar. Today everything shifts. Everything changes today. In Jesus' name.
Everything changes today. Forgiveness is, is, is your song. You're going to sing it. I, I, I didn't know how prophetic it was. We started over there at City on the Hill. We sang, oh, happy day. Hey, I sang it. I know it. When Jesus washed, it's prophetic in Jesus' name. That's your song. Lift your hands. That's your song. Lift your hands. That's your song. Jesus. Freedom. Freedom. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Jesus, it's your. Come on. Jesus, you are so anointed. It's not even funny. Come on, turn over here. It's not even funny. You are. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. You are a daughter of the Most High God. You are an Esther. You will break the doors down. You have found favor before the King. He will. Yeah, that's it. Jesus, he says, ask me. Ask me. Ask me, just ask me. It's yours, my daughter. It's yours. The voice I've given you, the life I've given you, the air in your lungs. You are an atmosphere changer. You are a voice in your generation. Don't stop. Don't stop for nothing. You've seen the pain, you've seen it, you've seen it, it's real. But you've sang, you have yeah, sang no, through it. You have sang through it. He has been there for you every step. And he's just, given just you give your voice. Give her a minute. Jesus. She'll let you know when she's ready. She'll let you know when she's ready. There you go, baby. Life. There you go. There you go. I want to pray for you at the end. You Jesus' name. I thank you for this man. Loyal. Loyalty is his name. He's loyal. He'd rather die than, than anything. He's loyal. Loyal, loyal, breakthrough season. Things you've been believing for for a long time, it's time. Just be patient. In Jesus' patient. name, it's give her, time. Give her time. Give her Just time. give her time. Give her time. Give her time. Be Somebody patient. get behind her. Brace her back. Yeah, Come on. Her. Give her time. She's get behind ready. her. She's there you go. Just yet. grab She's her neck. Yet. Grab her. She's, She's okay. Let her Jesus. Down. Father, now, Let her I declare down. it is the season. And only mothers know. When the time has come, it's push. Whew. Yep. Birthing. I felt it over you. I, whew, it's coming. Oh, it's going to be joy. Joy is good. Laughter. Are you good? 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 God says, no, are you good, my daughter? I love you. Just be respectful. Be polite. So keep being you because there's anointing in it. Breakthrough. Come on. Then you help them up. Jesus, I order now in Jesus' name. Right now in Jesus' name. Break. Whoa. I declare you to be an influential man of God. People, north, east, south, west. Who is this man? Who is this man? This is who you are. You were born to lead, born to love, born to hug, born to shine. Born to be who you're supposed to be. Now walk in it. Wake up! Whew. Jesus' name. He's going to wake up. Is that your son, Mama? He's going to wake up, Mama. You better watch this. When he wakes up, Father, in Jesus' name. Mama, you gave birth to him. Yes, you did. Oh, Jesus. Give her now the desires of her heart. Whew. Now, Jesus' name. Right now, in Jesus' name. Where's your son? Michael, where's Michael? Michael, come on, right here. Right in the middle, right in the front. Right here, Michael. Come on, just get right here. I know what it is to be you. I know what it is to be you. I am you. I know exactly what it is. Just lift your hands, close your eyes, no pressure. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for the mantle that he didn't even ask for. It's on him. I thank you for greatness. I thank you for boldness. I thank you for identity. I thank you for all of the pressures to fall off like nothing now in Jesus' name. I thank you for all the stuff, the words, the expectations, the things that have been spoken and you should be and you, you this and, and all that and up and you should. And, uh, it just falls to the ground now. You are who you are by the grace of God. You are my son, and a mantle and heritage and legacy flows through your veins. Michael, even your name. 
I have, my name is Michael. Brandon Michael. Michael. We're Michaels together. Today I say in Jesus' name, all of the words that the enemy used to bring uh, yeah, that feeling, God says it's over in Jesus' name. You are, well, you, you look like a model. You're, 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 you dress trendy. You, you're, you, you got the haircut. You got the clothes. All you need is a microphone. I declare over you the revivalist that you are, trendy as you are. Just like that. Daddy, mama, watch out! In Jesus' name. Because when he gets started, it's over. It's over. Game changer. His name is Game Changer. You are a game changer in every sense of the word. You are a game changer. You walk in the room, game changer. You walk in the room, game changer. It's not just because you're a model or a trendy trendsetter. You are powerful. He's given you a voice and he's given you a message. Tell your story. Tell your story. Tell what it looks like to be under pressure. It's okay. Your dad can handle it. Come on, you can handle it. You, he can handle it. In Jesus' name. You have a story to tell us. Yes, you do. Don't be ashamed. It's been... I know. Come on. Jesus. In Jesus' name. The best season of your life. You just stepped into it. Gonna be a lot of new clothes, a lot of joy, a lot of food, a lot of laughter, and less of that junk called condemnation. In Jesus' name, Amen. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we thank you for this moment. Father, we just say, come on, can you say it? Thank you. Come on, just say it. Thank you. Gratefulness, thankfulness, your goodness right here, right now. We thank you for this amazing house. Thank you for your presence in this place. We thank you for, there's, there's so much. Who, who, who else is here is family? Who's your family? My family is. Well, I have a number of uh, nieces, nephews. Niece, nephews. Come on. Where are you? Come everybody, on. Everybody. Yes. Yes. There's no pressure. Just come on up. I'm not going to bite you or nothing. Or just come on. Come on. This is, this is really, really this is important. Amen. Come on. Just stand here. Close your eyes. You don't even come have to Come on now. Let's not get in a hurry now. Let's not get in a hurry. You don't have to look at me. Come on now. Let's honor the Lord. Come on. There's just a few minutes out of your... You, come, come on. on. Honor come the on. Lord now. Oh, this is epic. Father, Jesus' name, love it. Come on, just put your hands like, like, like you're going to birth something. Come on. Come on. I know, I know it's, it's awkward for us men, but come on, like you're going to birth something. Right here. Auraki. Right here. Come on, put your hand on your stomach like you're going to birth something. Come on, like you birth something. I declare in Jesus' name the season of pain, of hurt, of shame is over. You're entering into the best days, the best season. In Jesus' name, all pressure gone in Jesus' name. I declare new life. I declare new joy. I declare, oh, Father, in Jesus' name, birthing new now, new now, new now, new now. It's been a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. God says, now I'm breaking you out, breaking you out, breaking you out now. It's coming now. Jesus' name, I declare now new season, new season, the best season. Come on, like this. Awesome. Jesus name right now right here new season new season love you are so loved oh in Jesus name you are so loved right now new season a new season in Jesus name every season that was meant to kill you wipe you out destroy you God says it's over welcome to the new season welcome to the new song 
Come on. Come on. In Jesus' name. Now. In Jesus' name. New season. Right here. Right now. New season. Come on. You are more than what you've seen in the mirror. That's, you're more. You are more. You will see yourself as that. In Jesus' name. Come on. You are amazing. Come on. Yeah, look at you. Come on. In Jesus' name. Right now. Birthing it. Birthing it. New in Jesus' name. <sighs> new in Jesus' name. New in Jesus' name. Birthing something brand new. Yeah. <sighs> Lazarus, come forth. What you thought was a dead dream, God says, I'm bringing it to life. And you will see it come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I worship you, Jesus. Worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Lord. This is the way church used to be way back yonder somewhere when I was a kid, man. Amen. You, just, you, you know, just let the Lord have do what he wants to do. You know, let God be God. You know, God can't do this in most churches, you know, because we got our schedule and all that, you know. We made up our minds we're going to honor the Lord. That means obey Him. That means be led by Him. Amen. So why don't you take just a moment before you leave, and uh, we want to send uh, Brother Brandon back to Boulder, Colorado with a uh, substantial uh, financial token of our appreciation for this great ministry. That We are blessed in this church. We are blessed in this church. Amen. We're well able to give. Let's all, let's, uh, let's all just participate uh, as the Lord leads. And like I say, we want to send him back to Boulder with a, uh, a substantial gift. Amen? Amen? We don't want people leaving this church saying, man, there are a bunch of lightweights over there. No, we want them to beat our door down and say, yeah, you've got to get in that church because they take care of people. Amen. Amen. All right? So um, when you're ready, you all can receive the offering. I know some of you have found the baskets. I'm just counting on you guys to do what you do and do it the way you do it. Amen? All right? Praise the Lord. I want to remind you that uh, on Wednesday night at 6 o'clock, we are going to have a, uh, uh, an organizational meeting at 6 o'clock uh, to get our... Uh, is it, can I have your attention for just a moment? I'll try to run through these announcements briefly. Can I just have your attention for a moment? Wednesday night, 6 o'clock, organizational, Okay. Because we're entering a season of, of outreach. We're going to be doing some massive outreaches to the community. We're going to start going through these neighborhoods with free ice cream. Uh, I believe it is a Memorial Day work weekend on Saturday. We're going to probably continue that all summer. Every Saturday, we're going to have kids following us like the Pied Piper and stuff. Amen? Right? We're going to, get, we're going to do whatever it takes to reach people. Say amen. amen. So, so we got Wednesday night, 6 o'clock is organizational. At 7 o'clock, I'm going to be teaching some street evangelism right here in this room. Amen? I'll show you how to get people saved. And like Brother Brandon says, no more catch and release. Let's get them in here. Amen? We can, and I'll show, it's not hard. And uh, you're anointed to do it. You're anointed to do it. Will you do it? Will you do it? Will you do it? Will you help me? Will you help me do what I'm called to do? I'm going to do what I'm called to do, and I'm being blessed for it. I can't tell you how the Lord is blessing me and Cindy right now. I ain't got time to tell you, but he is blessing us. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. You obey God, and the Bible says godliness is profitable. Go ahead. Amen. 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 Come on now. If you want a wise man's results, you don't have to be a super genius. Just do what a wise man does. All right? There's going to be a wise man in here at 7 o'clock on Wednesday night teaching evangelism. <laughs> Amen. All right. <laughs> Trendy. Right? Haircut, everything, right? <laughs> right? I love that. Yeah, I'm going to adopt that. Say, I'm trendy. I'm trendy. <laughs> Amen. I'm good looking. good looking. Come on, I'm smart. smart. I'm sharp. I'm a major blessing. Amen. Or at least you can try. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else we got to say before we leave here? Uh, lunch, right after lunch. lunch comes right after. Let's put everything away. Amen. We've received the offering. Let me speak over your offering. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just bless you, Lord. We just bless Brandon Cole. Reach your hands out to him. We bless Brandon Cole. We thank you.